Okay, now let's evaluate this limit if it exists. Limit extends to 0 of cos inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square divided by x. Now again here at the outset we can say that this limit does not exist because when x approaches to 0 plus when we are approaching 0 from its right hand side this function will take a positive value okay and in denominator uh, we will have 0 plus okay so positive value upon 0 plus will be some positive value so right hand limit will be positive okay and when x approaches to 0 minus when we are approaching 0 from its left hand side Again, this function will take positive value, okay? Uh, cos inverse ka range to close interval 0 se pi hota hai, to ye positive hoga. We will have positive value upon 0 minus, value will be negative. So, LHL will be negative. So, limit does not exist. Let's find values of RHL and LHL. Now, we have a direct formula. This is uh, uh, 2 tan inverse x for x greater than or equal to 0 and minus 2 tan inverse x when x is less than 0. Derive karte hai formula. Yaad rakho to achha hai ga yaad nahi rehta hai to hume derive karna padhe ga. Kaise derive karenge? We have 1 minus x square over 1 plus x square. What should be uh, the substitution? क्या सब्स्टिट्यूट करना चाहिए स्ट्रेट अवे वे पुट x is equal to tan theta the reason is 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is cos 2 theta ये formula होता है multiple angle formula ठीक है so we get cos inverse of cos 2 theta upon theta okay where theta tends to 0 because when x tends to 0 tan theta tends to 0 tan theta is continuous in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay so when x approaches to 0 theta also approaches to 0 okay now we will be putting then theta is equal to uh, tan inverse x okay on theta ko tan inverse x rakhenge. tan inverse x belongs to principal values of tan inverse x function is uh, an interval open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay then 2 theta belongs to open interval minus pi to pi okay now this is 2 theta only if uh, 2 theta falls in the range of cos inverse function ये 2 theta कब होगा जब 2 theta की values cos inverse function की range में आएगी okay now here this part of this interval इस interval का जो ये part है वो cos inverse function की principal values में है okay so this will be uh, 2 theta this will be uh, 2 theta when 2 theta belongs to open interval 0 to pi और theta belongs to open interval 0 to pi by 2 okay now we apply tan theta and tan theta is x so we have x belongs to 0 to infinity okay tan pi by 2 when uh, theta approaches to pi by 2 tan theta approaches to infinity so uh, here we have uh, x belongs to uh, 0 to infinity in fact um, we can consider here a uh, close interval yahan pe hum close interval le sakte hain koi dikkat nahi hai okay so limiting value will be 2 if x is greater than or equal to 0 or theta belongs to uh, 0 to pi by 2 okay so this is uh, in fact uh, uh, right hand limit right hand limit will be 2 we can write this as 2 theta only if theta approaches to 0 plus when we approach 0 from its right hand side okay then uh, what we will have if theta tends to 0 minus जब theta 0 की right hand side से आएगा तो उस time पे क्या होगा we cannot have uh, 2 theta ठीके? then uh, we consider this part of uh, this interval open interval minus pi to 0 so theta belongs to open interval minus pi by 2 to 0 apply tan theta tan theta is x so we have x belongs to minus infinity to uh, 0 okay 
So when x is negative, 2 theta belongs to this interval minus pi to 0. 2 theta will take uh, negative values. Okay. So we cannot write uh, this is equal to 2 theta, but we can write this is equal to minus 2 theta. Like sakte hai na? Because minus 2 theta belongs to 0 to pi, which uh, falls in uh, range of cos inverse function. Okay. So when theta approaches to 0 minus, we have minus 2 theta upon theta. This value will be minus 2. So we have LHL is equal to minus 2. So uh, limit does not exist and component limits are uh, 2. 2 is right hand limit and minus 2 is left hand limit. Okay.